Well, the Seattle Seahawks are the 2020 NFC West Division champs, and as the third seed, the Hawks will face sixth seed LA Rams in this wild card weekend in Seattle. This will be the third time these divisional opponents are going to face off. Back for the first time this year is Terry Holloman joining us now for the Hawk Zone. Hey, everybody, how are you? I feel like, Terry, I feel like you need your own music. For, I, like, we should have something like, Hoah! Hawk Zone music or something. Let's look into that. We're going to look into that for this new year. But first, uh, for those who don't know, at the end of the last game, the Seahawks called what's called a shovel pass. What is that, and why did they call it at the end of the game? Okay, so the shovel pass at the end of the game at a time when the Seahawks had easily handily won the game. They should have just taken a knee, a victory formation. They did a shovel pass uh, to wide receiver David Moore. And here we go with NFL contract 101. Uh, when you hear a lot of these players make like $2 million a year, $3 million a year, a lot of times it's incentive laden, meaning you, you need to reach certain goals during the season. Well, David Moore needed to catch 35 passes to make an extra $100,000 on the season. And at the end of the game, he was at 34. Oh. So Russell Wilson wanted to help his friend out and gave him the 35th catch of the season to uh, put $100,000 in his pocket. Okay, this is why we love you, because you know the story behind the story, and that is a really good story. You know, it, Russell Wilson, there's, there's just no end to how wonderful he is. I mean, isn't he like the greatest guy ever, man? He's, <sighs> he's so upbeat, so positive. He wins football games, and, and he's just so doggone humble. Uh, he, you, you gotta love the guy. He had me at the visits to Seattle Children's. Like, I was instantly forever pledged fan. All right, we're not reminiscing about the season just yet because it's not over, but what was the most unexpected storyline from the season? Ah, that's a, that's a great question. Uh, it could go a couple of different ways, and I know it's going to sound crazy when I say it right now when you look back at the season that he's had, but DK Metcalf, the emergence of DK Metcalf as one of the premier receivers in the National Football League, I don't think anyone would have expected this when they drafted him out of college other than Pete Carroll and John Schneider. Uh, they thought he was a one-trick pony. A lot of guys passed over him, and he had a pretty good first season. But to emerge in the second season as one of the top receivers in the league and to have the most prolific season as a wide receiver in the Seahawks franchise history, he just eclipsed Steve Largent Ladd this season for the greatest uh, football season as a wide receiver in Seahawks history. I think that was a hell of a storyline. All right, so the Rams have the top-ranked defense. That is according to a pro football reference. That's not my opinion. <laughs> what about the Rams' defense gives you the most concern? Well, it's not just their opinion. It's the real deal. These guys are really tough. But I think the toughest aspect of this defense is that defensive front, that defensive line being led by Aaron Donaldson. This guy is a monster, a machine. He's been wrecking the NFL since he's been there. He demands the attention of two sometimes even three offensive linemen to block him. So the Seahawks are going to have to know where he lines up on every snap of the ball and plan accordingly to try to run away from him uh, and try to get Russell Wilson out of his grip. So, yeah, I think that defensive front with Aaron Donaldson is the number one threat for the Seahawks. Well, do you see anywhere they could the Seahawks can exploit any advantage? Yeah, like I just said, run away from him. It's like... <laughs> So, so when I was growing up, uh, my parents used to say, run away from a guy who has a bigger number than you on the field. Because the guy with the bigger number is probably bigger and he's going to hurt you. <laughs> so run away from Aaron when you see him. And, and uh, I think, again, we have two of the most prolific wide receivers in Tyler Lockett, DK Metcalf. Exploit those guys uh, at defensive secondary and throw the ball to our, our receivers on the outside. I love that <laughs> saying. That's so great. So the Seahawks defense started out being not so good, and then by the end of the season, they were better. And again, we're not at the end just yet. What's the biggest difference for the start? Uh, well, at the start, I think they just had a really hard time putting pressure on opposing teams as quarterbacks. And you know, we have brought in an old veteran in Bruce Irving uh, on the defensive line to help shore that up. And he tore his ACL in the second game of the season. So we had to replace him. We had to replace some productivity uh, that we had in other positions of guys that we lost on this team. And it wasn't there at the beginning of the season. We went out and brought in Carlos Dunlap. Uh, and he actually has proven to be a really good 
spark plug for this team, uh, uh, set the tone for the defensive front. Jamal Adams was brought in, and, you know, he dealt with some injuries, but he has proven himself to be one of the best pass rushers in the history of the game from a defensive back position. This year he has more sacks than any defensive back in the league in history. So uh, these guys just really pulled it together in the second half of the season, and they're looking really good. Mm. Cannot wait to see what happens Saturday. Terry, we'll see you next week. You're spending the whole day with me on Thursday, right? I know. This was like a Christmas wish that I got, you know, that they're going to give me this year in 2021 uh, early. I just wish you were here on the couch with me, but soon, soon, soon. Soon enough, I'll be there. Thank you. If, if, if I get an opportunity, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, can't wait. See you soon, Terry. All right, Emmy. Well, the Seahawks with Russell Wilson are 5-0 in home playoff games, hosting the L.A. Rams right here in Seattle Saturday at 1.40 p.m. Let's go, Hawks. Let's go. Well, have you noticed your cell phone is a little bit faster? Well, for many, it's because their phones are now using 5G technology. Up next, we're going to talk with Verizon about this new technology and how it can help change your life. We're going to be right back. <laughs> 